Dropped a cheesecake once, creature. but no pizza. It certainly wasn't human. Gruff, watching your mass character, Mass Effect character, have a Mass Effect conversation is like watching a species of chimp experiencing Krogan blood rage. <laughs> no hitting the colonists, even if the Thorian makes them fire on us. That's what the oh, gas Oh, fuck! We gotta put the gas grenades on. Very well, Command. Let's go. All right. Now, 16 colonists alive. Uh, let's go to our grenades. Oh! Fart gas for Zambi. I really don't remember this part at all. Also, these gas grenades, like, barely fucking work. I've always. Can you repel farts? I own a Danish. M. Fart gas for Zayn. I own a Danish M85 gas mask. Takes a 40 millimeter NATO future. Oh shit! Now if you have it properly on with a filter- THAT'S FUCKING NUTTY! You know, if we're able to keep the usable clean my dad's room sometimes because Ah fuck! Get fucked. Let's go ahead and put our barrier on. Hell yeah. And let's go ahead and use warp right there. Fire in the hole. Ah oh, fuck. Doomed from the start. And if our tech condition has been revitalized in public education, I hate to say it, but this country is doomed. I mean, that's fair. Anti fart tech? That's pretty fucking.
We're not in combat right now. Hey, we did it. Let's go. Anti brat. I tried to fight it, but it gets in your head. You can't imagine the pain. Oh shit. We're supposed to be their leader. Uh oh. People trust me. It wants me to stop you, but No, I fight that no! I won't! Not fight in! Oh, it still says 16 colonists alive. Well hey, that's good. Oh, why won't it let me talk to you guys? Bro, rest in peace, Fidan. Oh, hey, there we go. Let's go! See, I haven't played this in so long, I thought they were a cult. I mean, I guess they are, but... I was like, oh yeah, they're, they're cult. Hey, 32 par Paragon, let's go. We're 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 blue ship. Oh god. All right, we just need to find this creature and determine what it Uh-oh. What this was not covered by my training manuals. <laughs> Nothing's ever simple, is it? <laughs> It looks like me waking up in the morning. Oh, hi. Who are you? Invaders. Your every step is a transgression. A thousand feelers appraise you as meat. Good only to dig or decompose. I speak for the old growth as I did for Saren. You are within and before the Thorian. It commands that you be in awe. You gave something to Saren. Something I need. Saren sought knowledge of those who are gone. The old growth listened to flesh for the first time in the long cycle. Trades were made. Then cold ones began killing the flesh that would tend the next cycle. Flesh fairly given. The old growth sees the air you push as lies. It will listen no more. I won't let you keep your thralls. Release them, now. No more will the Thorian listen to those that scurry. Your lives are short, but have gone on too long. Your blood will feed the ground and then you grow.
hit so fucking hard. Holy shit. Why did I do that? Only using pistols, what the fuck? Uh, go ahead and use your shield boost. I'm gonna use my barrier and you use your barrier. Okay, Garrison back. Let's go. Jesus, hi.
no, 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 no. Oh my god. God, this game is so hard. Fuck. Oh shit, I'm right into it. Yeah, I forgot. Get fucked. Lucky about this one, boys.
Let's go, hell yeah. Medical station, let's go, please! Oh, oh. Hey, hey, we got some more equipment, let's go. Um. Oh, God. Hey, we can wear, uh, we can wear the armor that, uh, we can wear, uh, Ashley's armor, or whatever her name is, armor. I can't fucking even remember her name. Is it Ashley? It is totally Ashley, isn't it? And we got some armor for you, buddy. <laughs> yeah! Might as well upgrade while we're here. Uh, let's go... Let's go.
the ass. Get it? Let's go! Fucking finally! I'm free. I... I suppose I should thank you for releasing me. How did you end up what? inside that thing? My name is Shiala. I serve... I, I served Matriarch Benezia. When she allied herself with Saren, so did I. Benezia foresaw the influence Saren would have. She joined him to guide him down a gentler path. But Saren is compelling. Benezia lost her way. Are you saying Saren can control minds? Benezia underestimated Saren, as I did. We came to believe in his cause and his goals. The strength of his influence is troubling. She tried to manipulate Saren, but in the end, her plan backfired. Asari matriarchs are among the most intelligent and powerful beings in the galaxy. How could one fall under Saren's control? Saren has a vessel, an enormous warship unlike anything I've ever seen. He calls it Sovereign. It can dominate the minds of his followers. They become indoctrinated to Saren's will. The process is subtle. It can take days, weeks, but in the end, it is absolute. I was a willing slave when Saren brought me to this world. He needed my biotics to communicate with the Thorian to learn its secrets. Saren offered me in trade. I was sacrificed to secure an alliance between Saren and the Thorian. Then why were the Geth trying to destroy the Thorian? After Saren had what he needed, the Thorian became a liability. Saren knows you are searching for the conduit. He knows you are following his steps. He attacked the Thorian so you could not gain the cipher. What's the cipher? And why did Saren need it? The beacon on Eden Prime gave you visions. But the visions are unclear, confusing. They were meant for a Prothean mind. To truly comprehend them, you must think like a Prothean. He must understand their culture, their history, their very existence. The Thorian was here long before the Protheans built this city. It watched and studied them. When they died, it consumed them. They became a part of it. Just give me some plain answers. Where is the Cypher? <laughs> the Cypher is the very essence of being a Prothean. It cannot be described or explained. It would be like describing color to a creature without eyes. Oh, fair. To understand, you must have access to endemic ancestral memory. A viewpoint spanning thousands of Prothean generations. I sensed this ancestral memory, the cipher, when I melded with the Thorian. Our identities merged, our minds intertwined. Such knowledge cannot be taught, it simply exists. You taught Saren, you can teach me. Yep. There is a way. I can transfer the knowledge from my mind to yours, as I did with Saren. Try to relax, Commander. Slow, uh -oh. deep breaths. Let go of your physical shell. <laughs> Reach out to grasp the threads that bind us, one to another. Every action sends ripples across the galaxy. Every idea must touch another mind to live. Each emotion must mark another's spirit. We are all connected. Every living being united in a single glorious existence. Open yourself to the universe, Commander. Embrace eternity. Going to hit the Pentagon. I have.
have given you the cipher. Just as it was given to Saren. The ancestral memories of the Protheans are part of you now. Are you all right? What just happened? All I saw were more weird visions. It still didn't make sense. You have been given a great gift. The experience of an entire people. It will take time for your mind to process this information. We should get you back to the ship, Commander. Medical needs to know about this. I'm sorry if you have suffered, but there was no other way. You needed the cipher. In time, it will help you understand the vision from the beacon. Tell me more about this ship Saren has. Sovereign is alien. I do not know how it was built or where it comes from. Its design does not match that of any known spacefaring species. It dwarfs any vessel in the oh, Citadel Jesus. or Alliance fleets. Its weapons are devastating. Its defenses virtually impenetrable. With it, Saren believes he is unstoppable. You said Saren uses it to manipulate his followers. The indoctrination. There is an energy about Sovereign. You feel drawn to the ship. It makes Saren's arguments more persuasive, more compelling. Spend enough time in Sovereign's presence and you will lose yourself. There is no other way to explain it. What else can you tell me about Saren? There is little I could tell you that you do not already know. He's powerful, he's charismatic, and he is dangerous. Once I followed him, blind to his true nature, but now I see he's leading the galaxy into an age of darkness and suffering. I want to know more about Benezia. Benezia was greatly respected among our people. A powerful biotic, even for an Asari. She was widely known as a teacher of philosophy and religion. She always sought the paths of peace and harmony. She joined with Saren because she hoped to turn him away from his path of destruction. Yeah, fucked up. That sucks. Instead, she became one of his most powerful allies. As I mentioned before, Matriarch Benezia underestimated Saren. Be sure you do not make the same mistake. Uh, Thorian. Is there anything else you can tell me about the Thorian? When the creature enveloped me, I became part of it. But I still don't truly understand it, so alien, so ancient. Its exact age is impossible to know. It measured time differently. 10,000 years of hibernation broken by a few frantic centuries of activity. Its mind was awesome, magnificent. <laughs> it's it awesome. It transcended all classifications. It's an awesome mind he's got there. And now it is gone. Don't tell me you feel sorry for that thing. The Thorin was a unique life form. A sentient being that lived for 50,000 years, maybe more. There is nothing even remotely like it in the known galaxy. I am grateful you saved me from a life of thraldom. Yet I cannot help but feel some sorrow for the loss of such a rare and remarkable creature. Yeah, no, fuck that, bro. She got voted. Bro, she got voted. Now she don't know what to do. <laughs> she got voted. <laughs> she did get voted. I want to know more about you. There is nothing remarkable about me. I was merely one of Matriarch Benezia's disciples. For nearly two centuries, I followed her, learning at her feet. When Benezia revealed her plan to join Saren, she gave her disciples a choice. Only those who were willing had to follow her. Many felt her plan was too dangerous, but I believed in her. I thought she could turn Saren away from his insanity. Instead, we joined him in it. You were allied with Saren. For all I know, you still are. I can't just let you walk away. Your suspicions are understandable. But you freed me from the Thorian mm. and from Saren. I am on your side now. If you allow it, I would like to stay here with the colonists. They have suffered greatly, and I played a role in their suffering. I would like to make amends. Oh. The colonists will need all the help they can get. They'll be happy mm. to have you on their side. Thank I you, wanted to. I thought May about it. I thought about it, but you know what? Grunk will give this woman a second chance. You did it. With the Thorian gone, we can start rebuilding for ourselves again. And we're free of Exogeny's threats. We're back to being just a little nowhere colony. Thank you, Commander. Hell yeah, we did it. You saved most of the infected. It'll take time to recover from the physical effects. 
effects, but they'll be all right. I hope Exogeny learned their lesson. Oh, thanks again. That data will be very valuable once I get out of here. What are you talking about most? I saved all of them. I fought so hard, but any thought of my own caused so much pain. I will do what I can to assist the colony in this difficult time. I am ashamed of the damage done to the lives of these Damn, people. Damn, Grungle's a dinkle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but Fi Dan, I couldn't do nothing about that. That was Fi Dan's own choice. Oh, wait, I already asked her all this stuff. Farewell, Shiela. Farewell, Commander. I wish you well in your hunt. Yeah, we're gonna go hunt ourselves a space racist terrorist. A space all the is. What's up, bitch? I never thought I would be so thrilled to see a soldier. Forgive my previous inaction, but under the Thorian's influence, every thought was examined and filtered. What will you do now that the fighting is over? I may stay, try to recover my losses. I can have new supplies delivered within weeks. Perhaps the colony will survive after all. Yeah, what do you have for sale, buddy? Let me see what you have in stock. Of course. Return in the future, and I may even have more to see. No. Let's go and buy the stiletto. No. Wait, we want to do... Let's do chemical rounds. Yeah, there we go. And then, uh... Yeah, I mean, hell yeah. Oh, mercenary. Wait, oh yeah, no, that was his, that was his original armor. Haha. -ha. Alright, we got some points. Let's go kill that space therapist. Let's go, we got lift now. Let's go ahead and... Oh, hey. Let's actually uh, go. Hmm. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that's so cool. I didn't even realize, like, all these different side quests I had. Holy shit. Finally, that damn thing is out of my head. I can think without pain. And with the power cells you brought, I can get this place up and running again. Thanks, Commander. It will take time for things to get back. We did it, boys. We did the big good. I mean, there's still Geth here, obviously. I mean, we can hear the explosions. We can hear the firefight.
Hell yeah, let's go. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. Are you okay, Commander? You look a little pale. It's that damn cipher. That is sorry messed you up good. And for what? We still don't know where to find the stupid conduit. What a waste. The cipher is going to lead us to the conduit. I'm just not sure how yet. We still have another lead, Commander. That Asari scientist in the Artemis Tau cluster, the Matriarch's daughter. She's an expert on the Protheans. Maybe she knows something. Don't I worry. would never. We'll deal with her soon enough. Crew dismissed. I'll never say that Caden's right. You I sent off right. the Pharos report, Commander. You want me to patch it through to the Council? <laughs> Survivability equals big. But yeah, yeah, but now everyone has comms and the group is larger. That's fair. Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Commander, Exogeny should have told us about the Thorian. It would have made your job much easier. You might have been able to capture it for study instead of destroying it. The only reason to study a creature like that is to figure out how to kill it. Yes, kill it. That's how you humans usually deal with things you don't understand. The Thorian enslaved and killed innocent civilians. Perhaps it's for the best, then. At least the colony was saved. Of course it was saved. Shepard would go to any lengths to help a human colony. Goodbye, Counselor. Uh-oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sir. We lost that connection. Dude, I forgot. I forgot the fact that the council, like, like, always checks up on you after a big mission like that. Fuck off. Be a bitch. See what happens. Yes, Commander. Carry on, Presley. Yes, sir. <laughs> now I am interested to see. Uh... Matano. Urgent message from Alliance Command coming in. Uh oh. I'll patch it through. Shepard, this is Admiral Hackett from Alliance Command. We've got a situation here, and you're the only one that can handle it. How come every time there's a problem, you end up running to me? You respect to <laughs> Shepard. And this isn't some run of the mill mission. There's an Alliance training ground where we test weapons and technology and live fire simulations. One of the VIs we use to simulate enemy tactics in the drills is no longer responding to our override commands. Uh-oh. It's gone rogue. Are you telling me this computer is thinking on its own? We're not stupid, Shepard. This is a virtual intelligence, not a true AI. It's not self-aware, and it can't access any external systems. We didn't do anything illegal here. Virtual intelligence support is critical to our military success. VIs process thousands of status reports and react in nanoseconds. No human can do that. We need you to fight your way through the training ground of the VI core and manually disable it. Can't you disable it remotely? Our fail safes aren't responding. The VI operates on a closed network. It can't affect any external systems, but we don't have any direct access to its processes. We could bomb it from orbit, but the damage to the facility would be catastrophic. We'd prefer to have someone shut down the core. Someone like you. I know Spectre's answered the Council, but you're still human. You're still part of the Alliance military, and right now we need you. All right. The VI controls all the facilities, weapons, drones, and automated defenses. You're the only one that can pull this off, Shepard. Good luck. All righty. Wait, but hang on. What?
Oh, located on Earth's moon. Okay. Okay, so we can still investigate the samples in um, the Matano system. Oh, fuck. Wait a minute. Um, fuck. What was it? Uh, and the Matano. That would be a good place to. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we investigated. So yeah. There's a metallic, metallic asteroid. So I guess I guess we'll go ahead and land. Huh. Interesting. I haven't done these before. This is weird. Is there to do? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. I feel like I'm playing Skyrim right now. Yeah, I think this is definitely where Mass Effect starts to, uh, starts to lose some of its luster. Oh, fuck me. Yahoo! Come on, we got it! When you start playing Death Stranding, I know, right? Two hours later. Oh yes, the entire colony. Uh, I guess we should probably upgrade, upgrade her. a better gun and 
uh, you could use some armor piercing. We'll give you chemical rounds over there. Oh look, a moving target in a doorway. I never expected these games to have driving. I've also seen like five minutes of gameplay from all Mass Effects combined. <laughs> Do you have a fun one on Il 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 Ilium? Oh, you know what? You're right. Two did have a fun one in Ilium. I completely forgot about that. Ha 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 ha. Um, let's go ahead and do this. And then we'll let Rex have the shock absorbers. Wait, no, Rex have the armor plating. And then for you, we'll give you armor plating as well. Let's go! Better because my is most is shame. Two beats in every other category. Yeah, that's fair. Also, my tally got some beef to the nog. Mass Effect 2 is so good. Oh, damn! Look at that. We got some good weapons from that. Hell yeah. Damn! I actually do want to put my stiletto up. Here it comes! Oh fuck. Hey, let's go. Okay, is that it? Do we do we just we found everything? Okay. You know, you know, the best part about Mass Effect 2 and 3 is that the Mako doesn't exist. 